and we're going to recreate those. Remember, we're down here doing this uh, intersection and adding it to a new quarter. So it's just going to take my name defaults and name my quarter. As I bring in the assemblies, it's going to hook up the assembly macro files with the current version, right? So you'll see that all the time. Um, probably got some daylighting issues, some target, little minor pro target problems I need to deal with, right? Based on the assemblies that I put in, um, it may have require, oops, hey, it's looking for a target for the edge of sidewalk or something. So you got to, you know, mind your P's and Q's, know what's in the assembly set. And it constructs, hey, my finished quarter, it looks like exactly what I want. And now I want to, um, whoa, we're going to have some interesting stuff here as my, it made my region run all the way out to the end of that transition here. So uh, as we add things, we're going to have overlapping regions in my corridor, which can cause me some issues. So need to, once again, need to consider how you're going to solve, you know, the two multiple baseline problems and where those regions are defined afterwards. And uh, here's my corridor. And uh, we might want to uh, do a little work in here, like rename it. Okay, and we're just going to call it um, both south and north. You know, combines the two, right? Okay, got our things. Here's my baselines. Always adds, you know, the two curb returns or four curb returns, then the main sections, etc. And once again, I can uh, pan around. It will show me, right, where I am, right? There's my main road. Here's my secondary road alignment. We'll show you where that is. Then, you know, you've got uh, stuff that's going on here. Got this little region, right? going on and say okay and we're not going to build the surface yet we need to add our other intersection into the corridor so let's take our second intersection and recreate corridor sections and mister thought I got that get my curb return profiles must have missed them right forgot that little step it will warn you if you haven't got them I've got them both, please make it, okay, and um, recreate our quarter regions, and I want to now add that whole quarter, a uh, couple of tricks, um, you can uh, create a second corridor up here, and check and make sure everything's working, um, Get your region set up. Um, one of the nifty things is you can make the second corridor, then erase it, and then come back and run the wizard or run the tool and recreate and may and add it to another one. So as a QA step, uh, it's pretty nifty to be able to do that. Um, I'm going to add it immediately to my existing. And once again, um, uh, another trick is to say none here and have the daylighting in your assemblies fail if there is daylighting in your assembly set. Another trick in your assembly set is to have assembly sets with just the pavement curb stuff and no daylighting at all, which can simplify things. We can come back and change this assembly set in one pass in the recreate tool or in the wizard. So we can substitute simple assembly sets for more complicated ones, which is really nifty idea. We're going to do run the daylighting, even though it's going to squeal at me a little bit, probably. And remember, this one's got, um, we're going to a single center point solution and recreate and add in those all the work. All right. And now I got a bunch of regions, huge number of regions in here. All right. Okay, and now you will also notice that I probably have duplicate or nearly duplicate stuff going on, right? 
okay, in my control. So I need to play around carefully with the regions in this area where they run over each other. And you may notice that I have feature lines here that run out because it doesn't know about uh, the other intersections input into the corridor. So you have to be careful where the two almost independent corridors overlap because now you're going to have conflicting feature lines and it won't link up properly. So I need to be careful and solve that problem in here. But as you can see, I ended up with a very complex corridor, right, uh, with turn lanes all over the place, Right, a, a complex three-way with a different solution. I did it in well under 45 minutes with a whole bunch of chat involved, right, and um, uh, solved a very complex geometry problem um, using multiple passes of the intersection wizard, right, uh, to build a very complicated corridor. And now, you know, I got some tune-up. I got some things I got to fix, right. Um, we, can, uh, we can actually get a surface built right away, right. So we can go into the corridor, and I will have some uh, interesting things happen in my surface. Um, let's build the top for the whole guy. And we're just going to call that guy, whoops, and backspace out of my automatic naming here. From my name template in the Surface Engine, right, and call it top, right. Um, we want this to use our real, our half foot. Okay, we need to add some data. I'm going to take the top links, add it, add it as break lines, uh, go up, build the boundary. I'll take the entire quarter extent. So now, this may, if you're, you have region conflicts, do some, may not give you the results you want exactly. Say okay. Notice that you hit apply, right, before I did it. I'm going to generate my contour and we'll probably have some real squirrely things in terms of the contours down here as you can see I have conflicting feature line data being produced right as the two corridor regions that I made overlapped okay uh, this south piece of lane and uh, etc uh, overlapping so I have assemblies actually they're setting almost right on top of each other making stuff hinky back and forth in there once again you need to make sure that your regions right end in the proper places right and or you come back and define uh, independent alignments right independent center lines that you can attach uh, with profiles to solve your problem in that area and recreate or delete, turn off the regions. Another trick is inside uh, the quarter box is to apply a null assembly, right? Uh, split the region that comes out here and apply null assemblies uh, in different portions. So that's another thing you can do to resolve that. Um, take our corridor and uh, do a couple of little visual things. We'll turn off uh, the main corridor, hit apply, uh, take our code set style, right, and uh, change it to um, plan with the top pied again. Hit apply, say okay, All right, and uh, other than my little region area that I knew we have to clean up. Uh, I end up with uh, my contours being produced, right? Um, things look um, pretty reasonable, right? I haven't tweaked around with my feature line display and all that stuff, um, but I've got a pretty good corridor. Uh, this is also um, better hit a save before you do this. Okay, so I'm going to hit a save. And uh, we could take a look at our surface by grabbing that guy and um, look it up in the object viewer. Uh, there's all it in plan view, all right? Uh, we could take a look at it from the southeast, all right? We're in a realistic view. Go to conceptual. That would give me a pretty nice picture. Click out here, zoom in, and you could see where things are chewed up. You could see.